Can you believe that we're bringing to a close the month of August, entering into September, Labor Day weekend, starting to wrap up summer, beautiful fall season. It's a beautiful season, a time to give praise and thanks to God. I know that I give thanks to God in so many ways for the life, the vitality, and the vibrancy in our parish community. What a blessing, even today as I'm walking around the campus, so many wonderful things, so many people coming together. And while all that is good, we continue to face the reality of like this surge in the COVID Delta variant. And so last week, Bishop Molesic sent a letter to everybody encouraging us to wear masks, especially when we come inside. So we want to take advantage of the outside for as long as the weather is nice, which we pray will be a long time. So here at St. Ambrose, 6.30 masses down in the grotto every Saturday, drive through communion on Sunday at one o'clock. The first and third Wednesdays, we're doing anointing at 11 and four in the parking lot. We're gonna to try to take advantage of many outside activities as we have been, so we can take advantage of the fresh air. And in Bishop's letter, he's asking all of us to consider wearing a mask when we come into the church. It's not mandated, but it's strongly encouraged. Why? So that we can keep everybody healthy and safe. Why? So we can keep everybody comfortable. Why? Because if that's what we have to do so that we can continue to come together and pray, that's what we need to do. So I'm asking you, encouraging you to prayerfully consider wearing a mask when you show up in church so that we can continue to come together and do what is good, best, holy, and take care of one another as we push through another sur a surge of this COVID variant. Now again, you and I both know that, that we have done everything best together here at St. Ambrose and we have muscled through and are walking through what we've dealt with over the last 18 months, over what we've dealt with over the last 60 years, and what we're gonna deal with over the next six or eight weeks, we hope and pray. So please, please consider taking advantage of all the outdoor opportunities. If you're gonna come into church, which I really hope and pray you do, if you can, please wear a mask. Again, that will keep everybody comfortable and safe. Let me end by sharing with you a great story. I had many witnesses to this story, right? So it was Sunday after Mass, and a, a father and his two children came up to me. The son is about eight years old. And uh, he came a couple weeks ago to Peter's Shadow, a healing service that we had in our parish, right? Long story short, the boy had a number of medical issues, a couple hernias, something going on in his gallbladder, right? And so he was facing surgery and only complicated because they found the hernias along the way. Long story short, the whole community gathered and prayed for this child, lifted this child close to the Lord. And as the dad tells the story, as the dad tells the story, when they went to do the surgeries, the hernias were gone, the gallbladder was in perfect order, and he found perfect peace and healing in the Lord. Why do I share that story with you? One, because it's, it's a true story, surprised, amazed, stunned again at the miraculous things that God can do. Two, it's the power of prayer. And three, we know that it is God who can bring healing peace. And so let's pray for that healing peace in our community, for every sister and brother who's sick, and really just pray for the healing peace that God will give us the grace we need to walk together into a bright and hopeful future.